Hey everybody, Derek Fury here, back to ask the question, why is the movie Young Sherlock Holmes so good? I beg of you, begin an investigation. Based on what? Your imagination. It was obviously a suicide. Never trust the obvious one. Uncle didn't kill himself. What's your name? Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Steven Spielberg presents Young Sherlock Holmes, directed by Barry Levinson. So what happened was the other day, I was looking for something to watch. I've already watched my film, Lion Killer, which you can watch on YouTube and Tubi for free right now. If you haven't, please watch that. And I came across a movie that I had fond memories of. The movie is Barry Levinson's 1985 kids film, Young Sherlock Holmes. And what struck me, what was so crazy as a filmmaker myself, as a writer, I remember this film per my memory. Now you tell me if I'm wrong, but per my memory, as a young kid in 1985, this movie was marketed to children. What immediately struck me when I watched the movie was the dialogue. Case in point, watch this clip. Roll tape. Stop! Isn't it valuable? What's more important, it's value or my sanity. I should have mastered the damn thing by now. How long have you been playing? Three days. <laughs> well, perhaps you should be patient. You're the new boy. Yes, I transferred from another school. My name's... Wait. Jim. Let me. Your name is James Watson. You're from the north of England. Your father is a doctor. You spend a considerable amount of leisure time writing. And you have a particular fondness for custard tarts. Am I correct? My name isn't James, it's John. Oh, James, John, what's the difference? A great deal. Oh, very well. So your name is John. How did I do on the others? You were correct. On every count. How's it done? Is it some sort of magic trick? No, no magic, Watson. Pure and simple deduction. Okay. What was that? For the last 20 years, I have not seen a kid's movie with this kind of dialogue. My point is this, this film was directed by Barry Levinson, a very famous, successful filmmaker. He directed Diner, he directed Donnie Brasco, Good Morning Vietnam, Rain Man. He made this kid's movie in 1985 that was executive produced by Steven Spielberg. Maybe this was due to Steven Spielberg, I don't know. But the dialogue, the performances, the delivery, the overall direction of the film did not dumb itself down. I remember being a kid and following this entire movie, being enthralled, being taken in by the fantasy of young Sherlock Holmes meeting Watson for the first time. But at no point did I ever think in 1985, when I was a, a young boy, did I ever think, you know, this is over my head. I don't know, what, what are they talking about? They just presented the dialogue the way it was and made no excuses for it and still said, we're a kid's movie. <laughs> we're going to stay true to the core of Sherlock Holmes. We're going to present him the way he would have talked in this time period. So if you were to do this movie today, of course, it would be, you know, one of these films, they'll take the vernacular of today and they'll just put it in the 1800s or the Old West or wherever it is. And people are talking like they talk today. They use the same slang, same vernacular, and we go along for the ride. Part of that is because the filmmakers don't believe in the audience. They don't trust that the audience can go along with them. Let me go back. So a couple years back, my nieces came over for a sleepover. Uh, with my with my wife and I, and they did as kids do. They wanted to watch Hannah Montana esque type programming. It wasn't Hannah Montana, but that kind of film, that kind of programming, that kind of a kids show. And I watched an episode, and I hated it. Watched another episode. By the third episode, I was just utterly offended. Not by <laughs> any any political or any kind of agenda. Uh, the only agenda that seemed to be in play was let's make a bad show. Let's make a show where none of the jokes land, all the actors give deadpan deliveries, and no one's trying, but we're all cashing checks. 
it was clear that no one cared about what they were doing and that they were making something, they were dumbing something down because their audience was seven, eight, nine year olds. So we're gonna do something for seven, eight, nine year olds and we're gonna present something as, as dumbed down as possible. Sherlock Holmes didn't do that, or, or should I say young Sherlock Holmes didn't do that. They presented a film that made no apologies for what it was and didn't believe that the children of 1985 were so unintelligent that they couldn't be taken in by the fantasy. So I told my nieces, hey, we gotta shut this off. Oh, why are we turning this off? It's because it's so bad. I don't want you growing up with lowered expectation because <laughs> I allowed under my watch you to watch this horrible show so that scene right there, Sherlock Holmes meets Watson for the first time. What film in the last 10, 15, maybe even 20 years, what kids film in the last 10, 15, maybe even 20 years has dared to be that bold to target their audience? We're making a kids film and be bold enough to use this kind of dialogue, this kind of more traditional old English style of speech maybe there's a name for this style of speech uh if if there is leave it in the comments but i was taken aback i was impressed i was befuddled i was hoodwinked I, the movie ran amok on me but uh i could not get over and i had to pause it and ask my wife and i went back and i said this was a kid's movie this was steven spielberg Aaron, and barry levinson got together and said, we're going to make a kid's movie. And this is the dialogue. The name tag on your mattress reads Jay Watson. I selected the most common name that begins with Jay, James, or John. That would have been my second choice. Of course, of course, of course. And I love it. It doesn't, it didn't speak down to a seven, eight, nine-year-old Derek Fury, whatever age I was at that time. It didn't speak down to me. And it didn't say, we don't think you're smart enough to get it. Yeah, they're meeting for the first time. I'm nine years old. It's great. It's fine. <laughs> Lesser filmmakers would have changed the dialogue, would have, would have yucked it up a little bit. But if you're going to make a film, if you're going to write a comic book, if you're going to paint a picture, if you're going to do, if you're going to take chalk and, and write on the sidewalk, do it with passion. And don't look at the audience and think any less of them. If you're looking at your audience and you detest them in some way or you think they're unintelligent, just, just do something else. Uh, the world is, is filled with bad art. And I just want to thank Barry Levinson uh, and Steven Spielberg for taking me on an adventure that I never forgot. But if you're looking for a film to watch with your kids, you're looking for, for an adventure to go on, I definitely recommend Young Sherlock Holmes. If you're a filmmaker, you just want to sit and watch masters at their craft this is a this is definitely one you want to check out maybe it's just i'm getting older if you think i'm just being an old guy and i'm i'm lamenting my childhood let me know in the comments if you have not seen my film lion killer that's available right now on amazon prime and tubi to watch for free please go to amazon prime and tubi and watch that leave a, a review on amazon prime and IMDb helped me boost the algorithm, get it seen by more people. This indie film game is real, people. Anyway, this is Derek Fury. Please like and follow the channel. Smash that bell so you get notifications. And leave me a comment. Say what's up. Tell me what you think about this video, what you'd like to see in the future. All right, this is Derek Fury. Peace.